well get YouTube some footage while we're in here. We are at the LeConte Center Rod Run Show. Got about everything that you can think of in there. Okay guys, been waiting a while to get into old downtown Flavortown. Try out Guy's restaurant here. It's been so packed the last few times we stopped in, it's been like two hour, three hour waits. So it looks not so bad. The rod runners are, uh, as you can hear, in full effect. The rod runners are cheapskates too. Rod runners don't spend money. Rod runners come here and they do bologna and beer. Mm -hmm. That they brought. That they brought, yeah. So you can get into places like this during a rod run event. As crazy and as packed as you've seen town, you'll come over here. Those guys do not want to spend money on anything other than a hot rod. Which leaves us the perfect opportunity to go try out the restaurant. Got a full arcade. Got a full tiki bar. Tiki 
nuts to eat at. And the cool part is they have a bowling alley. Guys, Kristen ended up getting the flatbread. Some chicken bacon flatbread. Chicken bacon flatbread. And, I, and of course, I've got to try out everybody's ribs. If it's someplace new, I at least have to try the ribs. And I don't know. They might not disappoint. They look really good. The flatbread looks really good. We're going to get at it. It's uh, a lot of music going on in the background, guys. Got 15 radios playing. Okay, leaving downtown Flavortown. I guess, uh, I guess I could give you my honest opinion of downtown Flavortown. I, maybe I'll do it this way. You guys come try it for yourself because everybody has a different taste for for everything but i'm going to tell you i got the ribs and it was a very strange the best way that i could describe it was my ribs tasted like a bowl of chili soup um if you're into that i mean that might be pretty cool but come over here and try it guys come over and try it and try the ribs drop a comment down below on any of our videos and tell me what you think because I would love to hear from everybody because that was that was weird I gotta say it was weird I don't know uh, try it for yourself but like I said we'd love to hear from you guys uh, it's a really cool place if you guys are out looking to bowl cool bowling alley cool uh, game room you guys seen all the stuff there nice it's a nice atmosphere chili soup ribs and chili chili soup flavored rib i'm getting in the tow truck because that's just weird but let me know what you think guys we are still in full swing rod run is uh is amongst us uh and listen guys it's gonna be an insane uh thursday night was crazy so friday and saturday night will be i don't know how do you top insane? However we top insane. Extreme insanity. Extreme, okay. Let's get in the truck and get some extreme, extreme insanity. Anyway, stick around guys. Got more coming your way. If the ribs taste like chili, what does the chili taste like? Hmm. Okay guys, we've got a call in for a box truck that has um, landed. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if we can help out. 26 foot box truck, said it had about a thousand pounds on it. Um, and we're really close from where they said it was, but I'm still not seeing a... There's a, that's the address right here. Maybe he's up in there somewhere. I don't see anybody up this gravel road over here, so that's good. That's probably where he is. Hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, stick around. Uh, like always, we have no idea where we're at. Oh. Found him. In all 
as wood, it looks like. My goodness. <laughs> Boy, it ain't going far. It ain't going far, is it, boys? Nah. <laughs> Dug in deep. Rock in a hard place. Yeah. It happens. Oh, yeah. See, that doesn't look like that would be a problem. Right. But, uh, You're thinking the same thing, right? Really? Yeah, that's, yeah, normally we see a lot steeper on the drives. Yeah, that's right. crazy. Who did this? Was it you or him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's down pretty good right here. Yeah, right. It does. Yeah. It feels a little bit more gravel. I feel like it would have been good. Yeah. I see you guys tried with all the stuff shoved up under the tires. Hey, yeah. hey you were on the right track, but yeah. Because it's not going to go back. It's going to have to go. No, it'll have to come back. Oh, it has to come back. It has to come back. That's how you went in, right? It has to, it has to go the same way you. You, um, no, you've not been up there, have you? No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll pull it back. Right. So you have to lift it up some or something? Lift yep. We'll get a little bit of lift on. It should just, uh, we should just be able to pull, lift the suspension a little bit. Yeah. And maybe shove some uh, stuff under your back tires and then we'll walk you back this way. So does he drive and you direct? Do you direct I him? Drive. Well, you drive. Yeah. You drive. Okay, and he directs? Yeah. Okay. Well, we will probably have you in there and then have him watching your front wheel because he knows where they need to go and we'll focus on the back. Sound good? Okay. All right. If you're okay with that. Okay. okay. He's like, nope, I'm leaving. I'm right. Jeff, <laughs> you want to try to build up something behind his back tires? I think we get enough drift off of it. That, the passenger side looks like it's off the ground. The back, oh yeah. Over there? Yeah. yeah. What do we got going on this side? Once we get this unburied. Yeah. Hey, come back to the front real quick. They're going to need us.
Yeah, this this part right here looks like that was the issue. Right there where that hay is. That straw. Yeah. But no. I think I think your truck's fine. I think everything's fine. Okay. Awesome. Hello. Hi. Thank you for coming out. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, this is a uh, all right. Good deal. How long y'all been stuck? Oh goodness. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got somebody that's called in uh, in a ditch and there they are. Bam, just like that. Just like that, we're here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That looks a little, looks a little wonky. <laughs> it's definitely wonky. There's a drainage ditch back there behind you. Fortunately, he is in front of it. This is McCarter Hollow Road, the intersection of Seton Springs over here by uh, Parrot Mountain. He's just gonna run on over us. Mm. Don't know what he's doing. I'll set up some cones. Probably grab a vest too. Yeah. I'll get run over. That's a good idea. People are crazy. You ever been run over before? Been close though, but it's not. Looking kind of intense up here today. Some of these back roads, it's like, you will never see a soul. And then some of them are just super busy. That's one of the busy ones. Yikes, what happened? What'd you do? We just put it in reverse to try to, you know, spin up this wheel, because or this uh, road, because we yeah. uh, passed it. And before I know it, it was sliding back uh, into this ditch. Yeah. Couldn't get it back in gear fast enough to get her out of there. Happens all the time. Tell you what, backing up that rear passenger tire, that'll get you in trouble every yeah, time. As soon as it slipped off the rope, the whole thing, uh, Done. the whole thing slid away. Yeah. Actually, we're lucky it didn't. It just caught on this, you know, back. It's like a like the drain pipe back there. Oh yeah, the yeah, the culvert there. Yeah. Sort of pulling all the way back down in there. Yeah, that is. That is lucky. Oh, yeah. yeah really. Woo, that's it deep. Could have, it could have been pretty bad if it had been just a little bit to the right. I yes. Hadn't caught, hadn't caught the well, you ain't kidding. Back in like that. That is, that is deep. Wow. Well, that's kind of terrifying. Glad you're okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if a parrot's going to make it back Oh, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Let's see. There's a lot on these roads back in here. All the time. That's what we were doing when you called it, except it was a box truck. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. That's probably even tougher to get out of the ditch. Yeah. Not much.
car is not on at all. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull forward because I'm gonna run out of room. Okay. Same thing, I'm just gonna go into gear and I'm gonna go super slow and I'm gonna pull forward just a couple of inches. Just enough to get that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can go back to park. Yeah, that is deep. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Boy, so it's just a, it, it caught on all that crap down in there. Very yeah, right fortunate. Yeah, you were on top of that instead of down there because that's what four feet down. Yeah, that's at least, yeah, no four feet from the top of that pipe where you were. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, your car yep. should be fine. You've got some scratches there on scratches. the underneath a little bit. Just there, that's about it. Yeah. I guess the rest of it is. So this thing over here looks kind of loose around your exhaust. Was it always like that? Right looks here. like it might just be a little I loose. Think it's just a little loose. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, yeah. Looks like everything else. Yeah, I think you okay. should be we fine mechanically. Yeah. All right. You got scratches and a good story. <laughs> That's a lot better than uh, the alternative, right? Yeah, for right, sure. Let's, uh, let's yeah, we'll get we'll get a yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, guys, it's that time of year again. We're over here at uh, Taco Bell, and it is completely overrun in this parking lot. Uh, she's only called in one so far, so I don't know. Drive through side. I don't think it's here anymore. Doesn't look like it's here anymore. Hey, is your manager here? Somebody called us for removal. Must be gone. Ah. Just a few minutes ago. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I'm I'm putting giving them receipts. Okay. For anybody that's paying the park, everybody that's on this side is paying the park. Okay. And these four cars, the three cars are employed, and this one is just sitting right there eating. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, just keep us. Uh, uh, the easiest thing, yeah, just Texas. If yeah. they move Texas. If you, if you well, I sent a text. I guess you just didn't get it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, that's, yeah, we, we come, we come over. Uh, it takes, uh, took me about 30 minutes to get through traffic. But. You, you, you sit, you sit here, but I'll get you another one. Oh, if I sit here, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you won't get anybody if I sit here. <laughs> you sit somewhere close. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, we'll be around. We'll be around. It's, it's going to be a crazy, crazy evening, so. But that's, yeah, that sounds good. See you, buddy. Hey, guys, just left Taco Bell there. Thought I'd give you a view of today's gridlock. Um, it's Saturday, Rod Run is definitely in full swing. It took us it took us too long, I guess, to get to Taco Bell. They they had done moved. It's it's very hard to navigate this this traffic in any sort of hurry up speed. But uh, Taco Bell's taking uh, is taking orders for parking over there. So if you don't have a receipt, they're going to call and. It goes for a lot of these businesses with Crave Golf Course. We've uh, helped them out here the last few days. and So uh, keep that in mind, guys. Pay to park, and uh, if not, you pay to park at our lot. <laughs>